It sounds crazy and it was a bumpy ride, but we traveled deep into the middle of this gigantic storm, flying inside at 10,000 feet. Our Air Force Reserve pilots and scientists were on a dangerous mission to take the storm's temperature, and it wasn't good. Up at, up at altitude where we're at, uh, sometimes it's over 100 mile an hour winds. Wow. So, yeah, it's starting to develop. They shot canisters filled with sensors into the ferocious storm clouds. And the sensors were sending back the bad news. Irene's pressure is dropping, which means the storm is getting stronger. The ocean waters below incredibly warm at 85 degrees, helping it grow. And on the northeast side of the storm, where it's usually most dangerous, this one especially so, with hurricane force winds that stretch out 100 miles. It's a large hurricane. It's a very large strong circulation up to the north. So this whole side is very, very strong. We zigzagged the storm several times, and when we crossed the eye on the fourth try, the eye wall, the storm's fury, had formed, and we discovered it was now miles thick. Time is, is on its side. It's now moving away from the islands and all the landmass getting back over open water. So we shall see what happens. Scientists say they will keep this up, providing real-time information around the clock as we wait for Irene to strike. Steve Osinzami, ABC News, in the eye of the storm.